Hello everyone and congratulations on purchasing our embroidery software. To help you get started, I'll show you how to install the initial version in this video. You already have an older version and want to upgrade to our newest version. Do not switch off. I'll also show you how to back up your data and perform a successful upgrade. Let's start with the initial installation of EPC Win. When you purchased the software, you received a software dongle in our ZSK box. Please note that you are not able to use our software without a dongle. First, we have to download the software. Therefore we go into our web browser and open the ZSK homepage. Under the service tab you will find the downloads. By the way, here you will find our current catalogs, machine manuals, or software updates. But for now we choose EPC Win Professional Punching for Industrial Embroidery. Here you will find the latest version and upgrades of our software. We select the initial installation and download the zip file. Once the download is complete, you will find the file in your explorer. It is important to extract the zip file. If you do not do this, the setup cannot be executed. The easiest way is to display the extracted files directly. Double click on the file setup.exe and the software setup will start automatically. At the beginning of the installation, Windows may ask for confirmation again. You can confirm this with a clear conscience if you have downloaded our software from our homepage. To confirm it, just click on further information and then select run anyway. Now, choose your setup language and follow the further instructions. The setup program guides you through the installation steps. If you don't want to have the default settings of our destination folder, you can change the path here. Before you finally exit the installed setup, uncheck the checkbox for opening the software directly. Place your dongle in one of your empty USB slots on your computer. We recommend inserting the dongle into a USB port with which you do not collide. This prevents the USB from accidentally breaking off for example. When you connect your dongle into your USB port, it will briefly light up red and then green. Now we can start EPC Win. Our software will ask you for your language only at the first opening. Of course, the language can be changed at any time in the basic settings. Confirm your choice of your language with OK. The software will recognize your dongle automatically. You only have to activate it once, so that software and dongle correspondence between each other. After the dongle is activated, a password needs to be entered in order to use the software. Depending on which option you have purchased, enter your password in the corresponding field. If you don't have your permanent license yet, you can also get a time-limited password to use our demo. Therefore click on the little clock. Type in a number of days and confirm with enter. Next to the number of days, there is a key is displayed to you now. To get a demo password, send us an email with the key. Simply copy it using the copy to clipboard button and send it to atelier at zsk.de. It is important that this window is not closed until you receive a password from us. As soon as you close it, the displayed key expires and can no longer be assigned to your dongle. If the window is closed by mistake, the process must be repeated. Enter the password you received from us and confirm with enter again to finally unlock your options. If you have an older version of EPC Win and purchased an upgrade to our latest version, we recommend you to make a manual backup of your previous data before. After you have updated your software, your backed up data can be restored to EPC Win. But first, how do I make a manual backup? Open EPC Win and go to Input and Output in the main menu. Click on the button Backup Parameters. 
To save all data choose select all. Of course, you can also save only a few system parameters and settings. We recommend backing up all your data to make sure you haven't forgotten anything important. Enter a location where you want to save your backup. Therefore you can select a path using the three dots button. Start the backup. If the backup was successful, we receive a confirmation from EPC Win. After the upgrade has been successfully loaded, the previously created backup can be loaded back into the software. The reloading is also done in the parameter backup dialog. To reload all system parameters and settings tick the checkbox select all again. You can then start the restore process by clicking on the button. Choose the path where your backup is located. The reloading of the data was successful when you receive a confirmation from the software. To activate the settings and parameters, EPC Win must be restarted. The software closes automatically with OK. You have purchased an upgrade to our latest EPC Win version, what now? If your previous software version is older than version number 6, we recommend uninstalling it. Do not forget, make a backup beforehand. Afterwards you can install the initial installation of your upgraded version as shown in the first part of the video. And of course, restore your backup. For an upgrade from version 6 to the latest version, I will now show you how to proceed. Just as with the initial installation, you can obtain the upgrade via our website. We described how to get there in the first part of our video. If you skip that part, here's the quick way again, go to service and choose downloads in the tab, now select EPC Win Professional Punching for Industrial Embroidery at the bottom of the page. And, here you are. Now select the update to download the zip file. Please remember, the zip file must first be extracted in order to run the setup.exe file. After extracting the zip file, the setup can now be started. You will be guided through the installation by our setup assistant. When Windows asks for your confirmation to run the program, you can confirm it here with a clear conscience, as long as you have downloaded the update from our website. Please note, if your destination folder does not correspond to the path suggested by the setup, it is important to change it here so that the upgrade can be implemented. Thanks for watching and good luck with your installation or upgrade. Please feel free to contact us and follow us on Instagram.